Welcome back to The Ed Show. The American taxpayers, that would be you and me, we are funding terrorism, believe it or not. An explosive new report in The Nation details how U.S. tax dollars are going to pay off Taliban killers to keep them from bombing and shooting at U.S. convoys. Basically, the Pentagon pays the contractors to provide security. The contractors buy security by greasing the hands of the Taliban thugs. The Taliban, kind of like the mafia, they run everything in Afghanistan. The actual Afghan government has virtually no power. And the fact is uh, weighing heavily on President Obama. Can he really send tens of thousands of more U.S. troops to fight in, under these conditions uh, in what seems to be a very failed state? For more on this, let's go to Robert Greenwald tonight, his director and filmmaker of Rethink Afghanistan. This story just makes me sick. I, I mean, th this, this reporting by the nation is absolutely outstanding. But, Robert, did, did you sense any of this when you were in Afghanistan? Uh, well, I did, Ed. And first of all, I think we all owe the nation and Katrina an incredible debt of gratitude. We saw what happened in Iraq when the press was not on guard and not doing the investigative work. The nation have been doing this since day one. They had Tom Hayden's great piece. They had Ann Jones' piece on women. Uh, and now this. But when I was in Afghanistan, when I was in Kabul, people talked openly about the graft, the corruption, and the fact that it was a combination of both warlords and the Taliban. I drove around the neighborhood, and it was filled with mansions. Right next to these mansions are people starving. And in these mansions were the homes of these corrupt contractors. So it's not only the Taliban, it's the privatization of the military that's such a horrific problem here. Your estimation, if we were to exit tomorrow, start the drawdown, and not put any more troops in there, and start getting out, what would that do? Well, it look, the evidence that we know, though the research from the Carnegie report, is that the single biggest reason for the strength of the Taliban is private, is the fact that we are sending foreign troops over there, right? So if you take foreign troops away, you actually weaken the Taliban. Now, they've done all kinds of horrible things, but there's a strong argument to be made yeah. that if we weren't strengthening them with our money and with our presence, they would fall apart. But reality is we really don't know. But what we do know, Ed, we cannot be sending over young men and women who are being given their lives for a despicable, corrupt government. Do they want us there? Do the people of Afghanistan want us there? I know there's a lot of different tribes. It's, it's very parochial and, and, and broken up in many respects. But do you think, in general terms, do you think that they want us over there? No. It was loud and clear when I was there, the people I talked to. Now, there are certain tribes in certain areas that do, but the majority of the country, I believe, is opposed to the foreign troops. It's an occupation. It's an invasion. I mean, think about it. Who wants foreign yeah. troops coming into their home, it would seem knocking to me, down their doors? It would seem to me that this story, I mean, it's extortion money is what it is, or is this how you fight uh, in today's world now? You just cash whip everybody you can so they don't hurt you. But then why, how are we fighting? What are we doing over there? We're paying a private contractors who shouldn't be there to begin with to get our troops supplies and support. That's not fighting the war if you believe and support the war. It's financing the opposition. Financing the opposition is what it's doing. And do you think that this potentially is the straw that broke the camel's back for the American people? When this story gets out and it gets enough publicity and we realize exactly what's going on, it would seem to me that somebody at the Pentagon is going to have to explain this or deny it. Well, I'm, I, I hope so, Ed. And we've seen, you know, we've seen courageous people come forward. Matthew Ho has started, has resigned and yeah. talked. Uh, the ambassador in Kabul has leaked the cables. So we're seeing a pattern as the president is considering these decisions of an increasing tidal wave of real strong evidence that means how can you go to war when there is no government there to support. Robert Greenwald, Rethink Afghanistan, one of the great uh, productions that you've done. Appreciate your work and your time here tonight. Thanks so much.